What I've got here are some grow bags. I bought these a couple years ago off of Amazon. They're 10 gallon grow bags. Um, I just took them out of the package and kind of set them over here. Um, I went ahead and put soil in one so I could see about how much soil it took. Um, I have a whole skid of bag soil over there that's for the orchard expansion. And my original idea was when I built this garden was that all the way around the garden between the beds and the fence all the way around I left about a three foot path and between every bed is a three foot path and when you think about that that's actually combined that's a lot of space that's not really being used and the reason why that I did it that way I was thinking that I would use a wheelbarrow to come in and harvest vegetables which I've never really ever done <laughs> in five years I've not really brought a wheelbarrow in here to put vegetables in I've always gotten a basket harvested what was ready carried it out so I kind of wasted the space and if I had to do it to do it over again I would not have left so much space between all the beds um, so what I did was I bought 10 of these grow bags I think they come in like a five pack it might have been a 10 pack but they're 10 gallon size and I thought 10 gallons would be just about the size if I wanted to grow like um, you know some melons that take up a lot of room I could put one of these grow bags at the at the top corner and let the melons just go on the ground uh, down the hillside um, or if I wanted to do like some late season July August vegetables where all my beds right now are full and I don't really have the space um, that might be another use so what I've done is I brought these out here uh, like I said I've had them for a couple years but I brought them out here and I'm going to set these first 10 up and what I'm actually planning to put in these are going to be peas and carrots because these are pretty deep um, you know they're they're at least from my elbow down deep and they're probably at least that wide also even with soil in them I've got one that's partially filled with soil so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna fill these up and I'm gonna kinda like lay these out and you're basically gonna watch me so what I found out is a 40 pound bag of soil in one of these grow bags not 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 compacted down leaves me about that much space can you see that like from my finger up so that's probably I'm gonna go with uh, somewhere around maybe six six to seven inches in length from the top now that's not compacted um, I'm sure if I compacted it down it's probably going to be you know actually it compacted down it didn't really go down much but either way what I'm getting at is a 10 gallon grow bag will take about one 40 pound bag and maybe a quarter of another one if you wanted to fill it all the way up I actually want that space in the top because as I've said in other videos anything that's grown above the ground heats up quicker than the ground does so I always leave space at the top of my raised beds and these grow bags also I'm going to do it the same way for me to be able to put some straw down to serve as like a mulch so my goal is I'm going to put one bag of soil in each one of these grow bags and then I'm going to put some compost then I'll plant my seeds or maybe I'll plant the seeds and put the compost who knows and then I'm going to top them off with straw so that way they retain moisture now we're actually calling for a lot of rain here in about four hours so I've only got a little bit of time to get this done so let's get on it this is just a cheap evergreen soil from Lowe's I used it in my asparagus beds when I first built it a lot of people complain about this because it's basically pine needles that have been shredded and maybe mixed in with some other materials and uh, 
it's not really a soil they sell it as a topsoil it actually says topsoil it's not really a topsoil if you're buying it as a topsoil to like fill in low places in your yard this is going to be horrible and uh i'm gonna show you what it looks like And this is what it looks like. Now when it's dried out, it's pretty fine, but it's pretty wet right now. We've gotten about well, three or four inches of rain in the last couple of days. Um, but it's got, you, you can kind of feel when it's in your hand that it's kind of gritty. Um, it's, got, it's got a smell that's sort of somewhat like pine needles. Um, but it's pretty decomposed. So, I think it's great for like raised beds, it's cheap, and uh, if you got a lot of stuff that, you know, if you just want to waste some space, fill in some space, I think it's good for that too. My asparagus, absolutely love it. What I have found to make this easy, since these bags are flimsy, I basically open up the whole top of the bag like this. I kind of like squeeze it together with one hand, hold the bag, Put the end of the bag into the grow bag so you're basically setting it in there upside down and then just grab it by the corners and pull up and that seems to help fill the bags pretty easy now once you have the bag emptied grab the grow bag by the handles just kind of give it like a shake and uh, that works out pretty good. I'm going to move these ones that I've already got filled kind of like there. And what I intended to do is to try this this year. And if this works out pretty good, I'm basically going to go, you know, I got 40 foot there, 20 foot across here, another 40 foot down. And then I don't know how many rows going across. You know, I, I could probably use a uh, hundred of these bags and they're relatively cheap. A lot cheaper than me building another wooden raised bed. That's kind of what I'm getting at. So this 10 gallon size is probably really like perfect. You could probably put like one tomato plant in there. You could probably put like one cabbage Or like a bok choy or something like that you could probably put like one zucchini plant in these but I'm going to use it more for like peas you know I could put peas and beans you could put a lot of peas and bean seeds in there you put a lot of carrot seeds in there you could put a lot of radishes you could put a lot of uh, loose lettuce and since they're relatively easy to they're not very heavy even with the soil in them um, that means that uh, if i need a if i planted a shade loving plant in there i could easily move them somewhere where there's more shade or if i put sun loving plants in them i could easily move them where there's more direct sunlight now where i'm putting them right now generally is a shady area this corner right here is which is actually why my zucchini is not doing very good first year I ever put zucchini in this bed I know now not to ever do that. Again, turn the soil bag upside down, stick it inside the grow bag. Then just pull the soil bag up and let the soil fall out. And that seems to fill it up pretty good. Then we're going to give it a shake so it can settle. I have an old fence post laying here. I use fence posts all the time in the garden and sometimes I bring out more than I need. And it looks like I've done that and left one laying here so I want to move it for a minute. So I don't cover it up. 
I should also say that these were relatively cheap. I don't remember the exact cost, but when I get inside, I'll look it up and I'll add it to the video right there. You know, they, they sell these and I've actually seen online, they sell these in like between a five gallon and 300 gallon size. Um, so you can get these big enough to plant trees in or something if you wanted to. Um, according to the other reviews that, you know, this material they're made out of, it's some sort of a felt, felt like material. I don't know that it's actually felt, but it definitely feels like felt. Um, according to a lot of the people that are using these, the reviews on this particular brand, one guy is basically growing like figs in them that uh, he can't grow in the ground because of his growing zone. And then he says, you know, for like, I don't know, it's three to five years he's used them. And he's basically using the same one he started with. So it's lasted at least that long. And, uh, You know, he has to move it in and out every year, so, you know, they have some life to them. Also, someone recently asked me on social media, I think it was Instagram, might have been Facebook, um, that often you will see videos come up, two or three videos in a row where I'm wearing the same clothes, and they wanted to know if I wear the same clothes every day and some days I do actually wear the same clothes <laughs> um, but usually what happens more than likely is I record three or four videos in the same day and I just don't change my clothes for the new video um, when you work out on a homestead you know if, if, if the only person that I'm seeing are my animals and the clothes that I wore the day before is not very dirty. I may actually wear them two or three days, sometimes four days in a row. And then that just reduces the amount of laundry that I have to do. And that's just part of trying to be as efficient as possible. And uh, I don't have a lot of visitors out here, so works just fine. I definitely see where these grow bags are going to work out pretty good. Now I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt because I'm pretty certain I bought, bought these like the year before last. And I could have used them last year and I didn't. And now I'm kind of kicking my butt for it. Because in all honesty, I totally forgot I even had them until today when I was doing some cleaning. And I found these like hidden in a nook and cranny like in my house. It's got like it's placed underneath the stairs. And I guess I put them there at some point in time and literally forgot I even had them. All right, so the camera shut off. The batteries were went dead. You can kind of see like the distance here. It's about not quite a full hand it's mid palm and now i'm going to plant i went in and got some carrots and pea seeds and uh also some pickling some of the national pickling cucumbers because they grow really fast and having this fence right here i don't know if you can see the fence having this fence right here along this row will make this very nice for doing uh, cucumbers along that fence now I've got some other cucumbers down the other end of the yard that are doing really well, but the national picking, pickling cucumbers only take about 50 days. The carrots take about 65 to 70, 
and I think the peas were around 50 to 60 days. So let me get that set up. And also I just noticed that my microphone battery is about dead. So let me go ahead and stop this video and switch to over to the internal mic. Okay, one of the things I just noticed is that my seating square literally fits inside one of these 10 gallon uh, pots. So I talked about the seating square in the corn video. I'll link to it above and I believe here comes the rain. I gotta kind of hurry up on this. I'm getting ready to do carrots and the nice thing about the seating square and the carrots being such small seeds is that it makes it very easy to plant uh, seeds using the little seed scooper. So let me get the camera set up for this and hopefully I can get it done before the rain starts. All right, basically what I've got here, and I don't know if I'll be able to make this where you can see it. These seeds just come out of my freezer. Can you see how small they are? Does that focus? Carrot seeds are extremely small. Um, the one thing I like about this seeding square is it has a depth gauge on this and it also has on this end right here if you can see it it's got a little seed scooper now the seed scooper you would think wouldn't be that great but it actually is all right so the way that i normally do carrots is i do all of these red holes i believe it comes out to be like 16 and i don't do them very deep i'm basically just want to get the seeds in there now some people take seeds carrot seeds and just kind of spread them out and then thin them and I like to be a little more conservative with my seeds all right so I've got the holes poked you just watch me do it the other end has a seed scooper now watch how easy this is I'm going to try to do this on camera so you can see it I stick the seed scooper down in here and I just scoop up some seeds I don't even care how many is in there right whoops kind of lost where we're at can you see it i hope you can see it there's seeds in there right now i go to the seeding square kind of get these moved back some and then i kind of tilt this just a little bit and i just peck it with my finger and literally one seed is all that falls out so when we're talking about except for that one there i actually pecked a little too hard with my finger you kind of just get used to the way that this was designed is literally awesome because I thought there's no way that this seeds thing's going to work. And it does. I mean, I've actually put more than one seed in some of those holes intentionally because, in all honesty, these seeds were supposed to be used by 2016, but they've been in my freezer all this long. All right. So this one is... I gotta say it's on video because I actually brought two varieties of carrots. This first one right here is tender sweet. <laughs> the closest one to the door. The next one is gonna be Danvers. Now what I'm gonna do is pull this seeding square out. Now I can kind of see that some of the seeds there are, and I'm just gonna kind of move this around a little bit, the soil, just enough to kind of like get the seeds under the soil because I know when it rains here in a little bit the seeds will have everything they need to take off now I still haven't put the uh, compost on here which I want to do next I just want to get these seeds in the soil before it starts raining so on to the next one I'll go ahead and tilt this up so you can actually see it maybe move it over a little bit I just kind of need to like really speed up my time because again it's about to start raining any minute but I wanted to show you how this works so I just stuck the seating square in there I got three edges started then I just grabbed a hold of the other one and pushed down and it's a tight fit but it does actually fit which is perfect so now I'm just gonna go ahead and poke the holes not really caring about the depth I know that carrots really don't like to have a huge depth all right there's that now i'm going to take and scoop up the seeds same way i did the last time i'll try to make it so you can see it all 
very 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 small seeds just put some in there and I'm gonna go around and tap with my fingers and get some down in the hole some of these also have more than one seed matter of fact that next to last hole has a bunch of seeds because I kind of had it tilted wrong that one's actually got three seeds in it but whatever so the next to the last one is Danvers then pull this out cover this up some let mother nature do its thing all right next is peas peas would normally be the yellow about nine plants per square foot I'm going to save the last four here for cucumbers I'm going to do peas in this one and then peas in these other three. I'm not sure how many peas are in. Pea seeds, though, are a little bit bigger. I don't actually use this thing there. Normally, I would soak these overnight, and I just didn't have time. These are actually 2018 seeds. They may not germinate as well. I may actually put a couple seeds in each hole. I think I will do that. Two seeds in each hole instead of one. If they all come up, oh well. Then I'm going to move this over to these outer three. All right, so I basically took an empty feed bag and went to one of my compost piles and got some compost. The compost is just to add some microorganisms that are beneficial and some nutrients. I don't want to put a lot in each one but I just want to add something. Well, hopefully that works pretty good. That pretty much concludes this video. Uh, I would add the straw, but I've actually got to go get it down at the goat barn. It's going to take a while, and again, it's starting to rain, so... Um, you just have to believe I'm going to put straw down. <laughs> Thanks for watching.